So my beautiful people, I am back with another cyberpunk video and today I bring you yet another 10 facts you need to know about this game game how's it going guys my name's dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me and the channel out and i do appreciate that support and if you're new around here and want more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe also guys stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my giveaway Okay, so 10 things you need to know about Cyberpunk. Now, if you've missed any of my previous episodes, I think this is like episode 5 now, you'll find the other episode linked within that video description via my Cyberpunk playlist. So let's get into it, people. And let's start with quests. Now, quests have a ton of optional tasks that you can do within them, which means there can be several different outcomes for each quest now it is said also that this can determine the certain reward you get for said quest too which is pretty cool to think about multiple quest outcomes multiple different rewards next up the more you use a weapon the more you can specialize in it now if you guys have ever seen that skill tree and you'll see the different branches here to actually level up a weapon you have to use it which makes sense but the more you use it the more you can specialize in it and i love that kind of thing i really do okay so the trauma team you guys know who these are well if you get downed and you need reviving these guys will come and help you out but if you do not comply with their orders people they will shock your ass which is pretty cool Okay, so next up, you can talk to every single person, every NPC, and you can even get random side missions from random NPCs. Now, as we know, it said the world is alive with NPCs, and a lot of them go about their daily routines. They wake up in that morning, they go to work, they head home, they live their life whether you're there or not. But just talking to a random NPC, you can get yourself a side mission. Pretty cool. Also, gun shops can also offer you missions. And you can understand why now they say this campaign can be close to 60 hours depending on how you take your route to the end. If you want to do all these missions or these side missions, I think it will take you a lot longer. Also, people, full damage. Now, with Cyberware being a thing in this game, we can have plenty of augmented limbs. No doubt is why you can upgrade said augments, which allow you to take less full damage. Pretty cool. Okay, so moving on, and you can undertake vigilante missions to help out the Night City Police Department by foiling crimes and arresting gangers, fogs, and cyber cycles. So you guys want to play the role of a cop? Well, you can indeed. You can also go on rampages. So if you just want to blow everything up, you want to steal cars, run people over, just go absolutely crazy no matter where you are, you can. But also, waste someone near a cop or a local gang will cause enough trouble and said gang or law will deal with you. But another one, the NCPD might not intervene when you commit a crime in a gang controlled area. Which is pretty cool to think about too. The police are too scared to get involved where gangs run that scene. So you better watch your step depending on where you go people. Okay, so next up, fixers can and will contact you, but this depends on your street cred level. And also guys, there are some items in stores and from vendors they can only buy if you're renowned within Night City, i.e. have a higher street cred level. Now if you're not sure what street cred is or street cred, it's a type of experience you can acquire by completing side missions. And like I said, it's used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. And even some items guys, like jackets, clothes, whatever, can passively increase the amount of street cred players can accumulate with like bonuses on said items. Which means if you do a side mission, you'll earn what, 5, 10, 15% more because of said thing you are wearing. So that's pretty cool to think about guys. But yes, 10 plus facts about cyberpunk, I feel you should know. Now, like I said, if you've missed any of my other episodes, you will find them linked within that playlist down within that video description. But guys, the end of the video is near. But before we go, let me tell you about my cyberpunk giveaway. So if you want to be in for a chance of winning this game, if you haven't pre-ordered it yet, it's simple. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more of my cyberpunk videos I see you are supporting, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will announce winners a week before this game releases. So hopefully that is the first week in December. Because as of right now, this game is releasing on December 10th. But we will see guys. But yes, 
good luck on that if you do decide to enter and hopefully people you enjoyed this video hopefully i see you again and with that hopefully i will catch you on that next one